haven't been able to get out and fish for a few months. But the other week, I decided to go out and chase some brim around some yacht clubs. I was using a soft plastic called the Hurricane Sprat 75 in cleaver colour, which imitates the bait fish in the area pretty well. The brim seemed to agree. I hooked up before even setting my drag, which is pretty unusual given how spooky the fish can be in this area. First cast. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Nothing special, but it's a fish. <laughs> It'd probably be legal, just about. First yeah, first cast, yeah. What was it? Brim, yeah. Oh yeah, look there's, at the bait. Yeah, there's a lot of bait. There's a lot of fish, but there's a lot of people, yeah. so they're spooky, like really spooky. Yeah, that's frenzy here. Yeah, look. Yeah. And there's some big fish here, but they're smart, you know, so. A good size bat, like Yeah. But the problem is, they, they probably know we're here, yeah? So. Yeah, they're just all sitting there, eh? Yeah. Whoa. Not huge, but. Oh, that's tiny. The small ones are not as smart, you know. Well, it's good at least. It's a spot where you can fish. Yeah, for sure. Enough. Yeah, yeah. And it's fun around the structure and stuff. The big ones really get we, you under the stuff. We went to Hillary's. Yeah. Oh, this one just but have a look. They're not going to touch it. They're not going to touch look, it. Look, 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 if you look for this gap here, yeah. Yeah. there's some f***ing big ones just yeah. sitting there. But they're here because they're hiding from everyone. Yeah. They're spooked. Can you see them? Bro, bro, There's so many. It's we riddled. would be able to bow those, bro, so yeah. easily. It's always nice to talk to people whilst fishing. And these guys seem to be wearing some kind of camouflage or disguise, probably to avoid spooking the brim. 100%. Yeah, and there's, I mean, people like launch here all the time, so they know everyone's here. Whereas over there, they're not used to. Yeah, they're 100% decent. They love hiding on the boat too, eh? Yeah, yeah. You know the brim are fired up when they come back after you try and set the hook. You just let it float there and it's just fucking. That's better, yeah. He's alright, yeah. Maybe like. Brim, what the brim? Brim like big. The big brim's like what, 60 centimeters? Oh no, that's like world record. A big brim. This is probably like the start of like a. Yeah, that's res that's respectable. Yeah, yeah. Brim's not like I'm not gonna win like a tournament. So, so that's probably like a 30 centimeter fish. Yeah. 30 centimeters is good. 40 is like yeah. top. Yeah. Funny enough, after losing my last hurricane sprat, the fish stopped biting, so I moved on. This clear water is an absolute killer in terms of actually hooking up. But hopefully there's some brim under the pontoon that haven't seen me, haven't watched the channel, and are going to be keen for a bit of plastic. Oh God! What? There's a big school of bait fish right there, and they're not doing anything, which might mean that the brim aren't really feeding at the moment, because those bait fish look very Content. Bait fish being content means no content for me. I wasn't able to fish for a while after that, but a couple of weeks later, I decided to head out to the same area. The wind had been blowing easterly for about a week prior, so in theory, the area should be teeming with bait, and it really was. The water was packed with bait fish that looked just like my plastic. Unlike the previous trip, the bait fish were darting around, seemingly under a bit of duress. So it wasn't too much of a surprise when I hooked up straight away. For those who are interested, on both days I was using 4 pound leader and 11 pound braid. I also had the soft plastic rigged on a 120th ounce hidden weight jig head. It was only a small fish, but after putting it back I noticed that my leader knot was starting to unravel a bit. And of course, on the very next cast, a big brim came out of the shadows and popped my leader right at the knot. No. 
That's why you check your knots. That's why you change your knots when you see them acting up. That was a good fish. But after a quick double uni knot, I was back into the fish. I've hooked a brim, but there's, I thought there was what looked like a sa uh, salmon behind it. You can see it there. Could be a tailor, but. I watched him take it right in front of me, which is pretty unusual. They're pretty fired up today, that's for sure. The camera makes it look very small, but I reckon it's a 30, 31, 32 centimeter fish. Surprisingly, I have actually caught a salmon in this part of the river before, but this time it was most likely one of the jumbo tail that have been going around. Right, I can see a big school of brim there. I can't stress enough how strange it is for brim to be taking plastics in the open like this, in such a pressured downstream spot. My guess is the abundance of bait fish must have just put them in feeding mode. On almost any other day, sight casting brim in a place like this is almost impossible. It's fun watching them take it. What's that, sir? I'm just wondering, there's supposed to be a place for you. I only took it about half charged, so my GoPro was quickly running out of battery. But for the rest of the session, I must have caught about six or seven brim up to that low 30s mark. Since I started my YouTube channel, I'm still yet to catch that 40 centimeter brim on camera. So if that's something you'd like me to try and do, let me know in the comments below. Probably about 30. Otherwise, feel free to suggest any other fish you'd like to see me target. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe.